few episodes ago, we discussed the fact that on a voicemail question, someone mentioned that in the Wax Museum, Boston's Dreamland Wax Museum, full of Boston's great luminaries, there's no Conan O'Brien. Right. They um, heard this segment, and they have since responded in a very formal letter on Boston's Dreamland state letterhead stationery. By the way, I uh, grew up in uh, mm-hmm. Boston, raised there. I still go back regularly because most of my family still lives there. I've never heard of this museum. <laughs> So that was a surprise. Yeah. Then to hear they do have one and that I wasn't in there was a little hurtful. Right. But I'm not a, I don't think of myself as a vain or boastful man. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Excuse me. I had a little, I was cold. Cold? Yeah. Didn't sound like a cold. Yeah, just a little tickle. In my throat. Okay. okay. But anyway, uh, I think the person who called in on the voicemail said that they went to the Dreamland Wax Museum. Uh-huh. They didn't see a Conan O'Brien. They asked the, I don't know what you'd call, the caretaker. General manager, Bianca Cordoso. They asked the person there, don't you have a Conan O'Brien? And she said, no, we don't, but we have, sort of like we don't need a Conan O'Brien because we have Whoopi Goldberg. (laughs) And that kind of blew me away because, uh, sure, Whoopi Goldberg's great, but she's not from Boston. And we did the research and found out that she's from I believe, uh, like New York and California. Yeah, I she has so. no connection to Boston. Right. So anyway, that's where we are. Mm-hmm. They, I think they've heard from people. They heard what we said uh, on the podcast and they've responded. That's right. And Sona has the letter. This oh. is from general <laughs> manager, Bianca Cardoso of Dreamland Wax. Okay, here we go. Dear Boston icon, Conan O'Brien. Okay, there, you know what I want to say? Strong start to the letter. <laughs> From the site of Paul Revere's silversmith shop in Boston City Hall Plaza, we at Dreamland Wax Museum thank you and your caller, Gene, for drawing attention to America's heartfelt cries for your likeness through your podcast, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. A little sarcastic, but go ahead. (laughs) Yes, we have Whoopi Goldberg along with Elvis and every U.S. president. No, we do not have new kids on the block. And in parentheses, it says, please. What does that mean? That means, I don't know, it's like, please, as if we'd have new kids on the block. New Kids on the Block, I think, are, aren't they Boston? Yeah, but last time you made fun of them, you said they work on a ship um, and that they are. I have a lot of respect for people in the maritime workers. industry. I was not making fun of them. I was saying that. Yes, if, you were. <laughs> no, I was not. No, I was not. <clears throat> we continue to grow and add wax figures since our 2017 opening, and we appreciate your permission to 2017 add- opening? Yeah. <laughs> They've been around for less than like a year. Yeah. Wow, okay. That's probably why you don't know it. But also, they say that they're a a Boston wax museum. Why is Elvis in there? Mm. Good old Bostonian Elvis. (laughs) Boy, did he love his chowder. (laughs) Maybe Uh, I'm getting the feeling that they just take whatever statue comes their way. I'm sorry, I don't have these answers for you. Okay, well, is there more to this letter? Yeah, there is. We continue to grow and add wax figures since our 2017 opening, and we appreciate your permission to add the likeness of Boston's greatest icon, the 25-year late-night television veteran affectionately known far and wide as Coco. With all haste, we will address your temporary absence and look forward to working with you and your Conoco staff, except Jordan Schlansky, to bring your beloved uh, sick spirit. Burn on Jordan, yeah. <laughs> to bring your beloved spirit to Bean Town. Warmest regards, Bianca Cordoso, General Manager, Dreamland Wax Museum. Well, I, okay, I will say that was a that's a sweet letter. Yes, and I appreciate uh, Bianca. Uh, I appreciate your. Very kind and prompt response. If you're um, going to reply directly to her, you should know that we have her on the line right now. Is would she on the like line right now? Yeah. I would love to speak to her. Okay, good. Hello? Is this Bianca Cardozo? This is she. You are the general manager of Boston's Dreamland Wax Museum? That, that's me. Am oh, hi, I Bianca. <laughs> oh, no, you're not in trouble. This is uh, Conan O'Brien calling. Hi, and Conan. Thank How you, are you? Thank you for taking my call. I'm doing very well. I think it's time we spoke. Because an issue came up, a fan, I think, went to the Dreamland, a fan of mine, went to the Boston uh, Dreamland Wax Museum, and uh, they were shocked to find out here at a Boston Wax Museum that there's no Conan O'Brien, arguably, what, three most famous Bostonians ever? <laughs> Probably. Are you, are you laughing? Do I, hear, do I hear giggling? No, no, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, I thought Absolutely. I heard you laughing at me. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I, uh, maybe three is like five, top five. It's like me, five. L- Larry Bird, 
uh, Paul Revere. Um, I can't even honestly think of anyone else. I think that's it. Whitey uh, Bulger. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to excuse my friend, Matt Gorley, just picked up the phone. I didn't realize he'd had access to this call. Um, <laughs> so, Bianca, this fan, I think, approached you at the Wax Museum and said, where is the Conan O'Brien? And you said, we don't have a Conan O'Brien, but we do have Whoopi Goldberg, as if we were in- interchangeable. Now, no. I have a lot of respect for Whoopi. I really do. And I love Whoopi Goldberg, but I don't think you can just say... Well, we don't have Conan, but we do have Whoopi. Conan, let me explain. <laughs> okay, I don't want you to be defensive. No, 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 I'm but not. But no, 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 you should relax and do not be defensive, <laughs> but just know that if you don't answer my questions to my liking, <laughs> I'll do everything I can to uh, bring your organization down. <laughs> but don't be defensive. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Conan. Thank you for this opportunity to explain myself. Okay. Um, Jean, she sent me an email So I'll read her email as she read mine. Uh, She said, do you have a Conan O'Brien wax figure? Why or why not? And then period, do you have any other comedians? Thank you so much. So that's why I said, no, unfortunately, we don't have Conan O'Brien yet, exclamation point. Uh, But answering her question, if we have any other comedians, that's when I said we do have Whoopi. Right. I um, see. I see. You know what? The way you explain it uh, (laughs) clarifies it a lot. And and I think I love my fans, but I feel like she maybe Jean maybe misrepresented the situation a little bit. What I don't nope. like about Jean's question, now that I can hear her email, is she said, do you have Conan O'Brien? And, and she more or less said, if you don't, why? And if you do, why? Isn't that sort of what she asked? <laughs> yes. So that's okay. rude. That's like, if you've got it, if you had said, yes, we have Conan, <laughs> she was going to ask why. So now I'm mad at my fan and I'm not mad at you. Okay, good. So let's get to the problem of fixing the situation. Is there going to be a Conan O'Brien now? Because I have a lot of family in Boston. They would love to go to a wax museum and look at a wax me. I think they'd prefer it to the real me. How are we gonna, I, I how are we gonna get this done? Well, you tell me, do we have your permission to add you to the wax museum? Yes, you do. But I'm curious, how are you gonna get a wax figure of me? Uh, so you, that's where my first, rec- my second request comes in. You want uh, me to we, make the wax figure? Well, would you? <laughs> um, I'm sure that this is, what an honor. I want to say what an honor that you have said you will put a wax statue of me in your museum as long as I make it and ship it to you. What a rare well, honor for me. <laughs> if you can't do that, if it's not within your expertise, we would love to send our artist down to L.A. to get your measurements. We'll probably need two hours of your time to get all your measurements done and take hundreds of pictures of you to make sure we have the best wax figure of Conan O'Brien in our museum. Let me be frank with you. I don't need this to be that good. No. <laughs> I think your standards are higher than mine. Do you have a Tilda Swinton? Because I look just like her. All you have to do is put a heat lamp on the face, get it a little soft, and mush it up a little so it's not, uh, it's, it's sort of a square face and not as attractive, mm-hmm. and you've got Conan O'Brien. And you can just leave the dress on because there was two years of my life where I wore a dress. So that, do you have a Tilda Swinton? We don't, unfortunately okay. not. Do you have a, a Saoirse Ronan? She's an actress right now. You could do the same thing, a little heat lamp on the face, mush it up a bit. I pretty much have the same body as those two attractive women. And you've got your Conan O'Brien. Does that work? Oh, Conan, it will have to be you. Let me pitch something else. There is a statue of me, a wax statue, and I hate to mention a competitor, and I know you like to imagine that they don't exist, but (laughs) Madame Tussauds in Hollywood has a wax Conan that they made in 2010. I've seen them. I actually just went on my honeymoon to L.A. and I saw your wax figure there. Excuse me. And I took a picture with it. Excuse me. You run a wax museum (laughs) and on your honeymoon you went to the other wax museum? I did. That is so sad. (laughs) You know what I did on my honeymoon? I took my wife to Talk Show Island where you get a desk and you interview guests for six days in a row. (laughs) 
Just so I know, <laughs> is it Boston figures that are in your wax museum? Uh, we have some. Because I heard you, you know, had Elvis there, and I was like, wait, did he grow up in Roxbury? <laughs> yes, we have Elvis too. Uh-huh. And what other celebrities do you have? Tell me. Uh, well, we have Tom Brady. I know he's not from Boston. No, he's but, but he's, he's he should be there. He's Tom Brady. Basically from and also, Boston, basically, right? my face is pretty much identical to his. So <laughs> why are you? That's not nice. <laughs> Sorry. No, I really do. I people I often think I'm Tom Brady. When I walk around, people say, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Six Super Bowls. And I go, no, 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 that's Tom Brady. And they're like, where's Giselle? And I'm like, please, it's, I'm not Tom Brady. I'm Conan O'Brien. So you could put a few freckles on the Tom Brady, and then you've got me. Uh, what other celebrities do you have? We have Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. He's from Boston, right? I think he's from Cambridge. Matt Damon. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, Whenever people say Boston, it's, yeah, we got Damon and Affleck. You know, what about other? There are other people. From Massachusetts, uh, who've done pretty well. Are they even still in movies? I mean, Matt Damon, I, I thought he was in real estate now. So Damon. you only have a few Boston celebrities, and then you have- We do. And then you just have lots of other people. Like, we who are the do. other people? We have all the presidents. Right. Mm-hmm. We have world leaders like the Pope and Mother Teresa. Oh, the Pope's from Framingham. Down. He's and from Mother, Framingham. Yeah, and Mother Teresa's from Brockton. <laughs> who else do you have? We have the the queen. Yep. She grew up in Newton. Um, she was in Newton North. She ran, when I ran track for Brookline, <laughs> she was at our track rival at Newton North. She did the two mile. That's oh, wow. A, that's a true story. Well, I believe you. Yeah. No, Who else? No Who else you got? We have Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Yeah. He mm-hmm. grew uh, grew up uh, on the North Shore. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. She grew up near Logan Airport. <laughs> Einstein. <laughs> Einstein, yeah. He was from Chelsea. From <laughs> Bill Gates. Bill Gates, yeah. Lived near the Light and Leisure building over in Framingham. Yeah, sounds have... like you've got a very Boston museum. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. We're going to, you can take the different measurements. You'll be stunned okay. by some of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I heard. Yeah, I have very uh, long... Legs. Um, I've heard there's something going on with your torso or something. I don't know. A reporter told me. <laughs> yes. I don't I, know. I what have, was that all about? Torso. Of a I have girl? a very short know. torso and I have long legs. Uh, mm-hmm. You're gonna. Here's what I need you to do, Bianca. Before we okay. wrap this up, add some stuff to the butt because I have a very lean posterior. <laughs> Sona, do you want to lean in on this one? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to talk about your ass real quick. No, I have no ass. No, he, yes, but I don't think she could just d- embellish things. I don't think that's the wax want, figure code. No, are you allowed to, Bianca, embellish things a little bit if I ask you to? You know, whatever you want, Connie. Okay, we'll I'd like a little more in the you. back. I'd like a, more in the back and in the front. Okay, if you know what oh, I'm saying. God. <laughs> you know, let's just, uh, let's just beef the whole uh, everything up. What? Noted. Okay. All right, maybe a okay. six-pack. Well, no one's going to see. Oh, will I be shirtless? What am I wearing <laughs> oh, in this? No. Well, I don't know. You tell me. We can do How about not shirtless, else. but no shirt, but just overalls with the straps? Yes, And then you'll nice. see the six-pack. And I want it to be sort of a farmer theme. Okay? <laughs> okay. We'll get this all worked we'll out. We'll do that. You know what, Bianca, you're a wonderful person. Thank you very much for getting back to me. My parents still live, uh, they live in Brookline. They're going to be so happy to go down to your wax museum and see a statue that looks pretty much nothing like me. <laughs> it be a very proud hey, moment Colin, Would you come? Of course. If you make this statue, if we can get this done, I will go there happily. But you've been uh, a dream to talk to. Thank you, Conan. We'll have your statue ready in a few months. Thank you Maybe so much. Maybe more like 10, but we'll have it ready soon. <laughs> Wait, you said a few months. Maybe more like 10. Well, you know, Bianca, you're, I'm you're gonna so great. Bianca, I'm coming there in 30 days. <laughs> oh no! Start the clock. I'm coming in 30 days, Bianca. All right, I have to go to get this done. Yeah, freckles on the Tom Brady. All right, noted. Bye bye. Conan O'Brien needs a friend with Sonam Obsessian and Conan O'Brien as himself. Produced by me, Matt Gorley. Executive produced by Adam Sachs and Jeff Ross at Team Coco and Colin Anderson and Chris Bannon at Earwolf. Special thanks to Jack White and the White Stripes for the theme song.